Today, we're gonna make things stop a little better. safety we're gonna move the jack to the corner that we're gonna work on all right so we reached out to EBC to help us out with the breaking part of our Miata build and I uh, told them what's going on that we have a car for Isabel and they sent us over all new rotors and pads not sure what's in there I've been looking forward to it for a couple of months since we started this build and I'm dying to see what they send us over also we ended up buying new calipers because some of these look very rusty and I just didn't feel like uh, redoing and refinishing it. I just want to get it done. It is summer in Florida. It is hot. I need to get it done. And then Track Prep Performance helped us out uh, with a huge discount on his brake lines. Uh, they are following our build as well. And we're really appreciative. And we'll use them in the future as well because they have a lot of parts for Miatas. Uh, I'll put some links in the description. So let's get in here and let's see what we got. I'm super excited they sent us over slotted and dimpled rotors I'm not a proponent to cross drilled rotors because they will develop stress cracks uh, under heavy usage in here these are just dimpled which means they're still solid they still have the strength uh, especially when you take them to the track and then we got the yellow stuff this is some cool stuff. I can't wait to take this on a track. Uh, so let's get to it. So the EBC pads, uh, they all have this uh, break-in layer or bed-in layer. Uh, they even put this in here. Please read. Please read. I'll put a link in my other video where I did a detailed uh, uh, walkthrough of how to install these brakes properly. Um, so let's assemble this before we get it into the car. Let's do it. <music> So after a very long and frustrating and hot day, I finally gave up. A project that should have taken an hour and a half, uh, I finally quit at hour five. Uh, I was just beat. Um, trying to figure out why the uh, calipers don't fit over the rotors uh, was a big issue for me. So 
uh, I called my buddy over at uh, uh, Track Prep Performance and he told me to just get some uh, different pads and just see maybe maybe some things out of the ordinary and uh, maybe I got the wrong pads who knows but I never had that issue before so I wasn't even thinking about that so I went ahead and I ordered some pads uh, from a local auto store just because I needed it quick because this car is occupying my entire garage and I have cars sitting out on the curb which my HOA really frowns upon um, but I finally got some pads and wouldn't you know they fit let me show you what's going on so these measure 2.8 centimeters or 28 millimeters in total width and it's very tight I can get it on if I force it but you know that's not the point the rotor still has to spin freely let me show you the thickness of the other ones so this is the other set this is 2.54 uh, centimeters or 25.4 millimeters um, the difference is this much and that's by this much I can't get it on there so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in now I'm gonna talk to EBC and get the correct ones because I still want the performance that the EBC brakes are giving me um, and then we'll just swap it out maybe in a few weeks but right now I need to get the car moving I need to get the car out of the garage and I need to get it ready for the next road trip so let's finish it up <music> Now that everything is reconnected uh, we got to flush some brake fluid through it and I got the right piece of equipment for that if you've seen any of my previous episodes you know exactly what I'm talking about let me introduce you this is the Modi products power bleeder so the way it works is you put brake fluid in here you pump it up you increase the pressure to about 15 psi and then you just open the valve one person does it it bleeds through the entire system the master cylinder everything so this way you don't have to have a second person stepping on the pedal on a brake pedal to pump stuff through I've heard it could cause issues especially on newer cars I've been doing it with this I do the uh, my all of my cars once every two years and put some high quality brake fluid in it so let's pop some good brake fluid in it and let's connect it and let's start pumping <music> thing left to adjust uh, the parking brake there's a little 14 millimeter bolt right here and in the back of that uh, an allen key will pop right in and you're gonna tighten it by hand is usually fine until this doesn't move anymore if this doesn't move anymore you back it up one third of a turn and it starts moving that's your adjustment
All right, well, that's it. So now we're going to do a test drive, make sure everything's grabbing well. And we're going to run a couple of tanks of gas through it just to make sure the, the, the brakes are well broken in. And then maybe we can find a local autocross if it's not too hot. Not sure what's around here in Florida in the summer. But we're going to try to get Isabel on the track and try to get her started uh, with some performance driving. All right, so let's get out of here. After driving around for a little bit for the initial break-in period, we have most of our stopping power. There's still a few more things that we need to get sorted out before we can hit the racetrack. Also, I would like to thank our sponsors EBC Brakes and Track Pep Performance for helping us out with this video. Stay tuned, until next time.